aren't feeling clean today after the shocking removal of Mayor Brad Jones just yesterday afternoon. Mayor Jones was the center of a high profile drug investigation that put the former mayor right in the middle of the town's growing drug presence. Recognize this guy? Okay, that's the that's a reporter from the Times. Negative. He's Negative. not a reporter. This is a new order meeting that happened last week. Are you sure? I haven't heard anything about the Times shutting down. The Times shut its doors two weeks ago. Things have taken somewhat of a drastic turn over the past 24 hours. Liz, what's what's going on? Something wrong? I don't recognize this number. Let me see it. And some of you may feel like you're not quite ready for the change. Answer it. This is Liz. Breaking news. I'm standing at the corner of MLK Boulevard and 31st Street. We have just received reports that an explosion occurred at the mayor's office. At this time, we have been told that there is smoke and debris. However, we are not able to get close. There have been two reported injuries. One moment. Correction, there have been three reported injuries and zero fatalities. At this time, we are unsure if the mayor is among those injured. So yesterday, around 12 noon, our office received email threats from an unknown source, as well as damages from a bomb. Now, now, speculations are that it's from a group and not just a lone wolf. However, it is our top priority to get to the bottom of the matter quickly. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's good that no one was hurt. Is it true that the mayor's office believes it's the new radical group, the new order? Uh, are we safe? Because if they're pissed at Liz, then we might be in trouble too. Now listen, Liz, I'm going to ask you one last time. What can these people be talking about? I don't know. Stay tuned with WHNC for your live updates. I'm Stacey Lane, reporting with News 19. I am Aaron James with Channel 17 News.